don't want to swear, but that's not good to do on YouTube. Uh, F thing L. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Like, one thing about traveling solo and doing all this and blah 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 is it's so freeing and so amazing whenever everything's going okay. But when things start going bad and you're completely alone and have nobody in the middle of nowhere, then it sucks. Major. It's been a whirlwind the past day of the things that have gone wrong. My friend had to leave for emergency last night. Well, I had to drive last night a little bit and then this morning there was water everywhere and it's just perplexing me. And I called my dad, I'm just like, what is this? It could be a blown head gasket. And so why would water be coming like pouring almost out of the exhaust system? And I don't I still don't know what it is. Um, there's just condensate, uh, it's water for sure. I know. I know what ant coolant is now, like it's it's water coming out and I'm sat here in this parking lot and out in the middle of nowhere and the destination I need to get to for the hotel that I booked is three hours away. Then I looked at my bank account this morning and I realized the IRS took a bunch of money out of my bank account. I didn't know if they could do that and they did. My driver's license expired. I got my mom to send me a camera card. It expired day after my birthday. So I, I have that to hopefully be a temporary driver's license. I don't know even if that would work if I needed to rent a car somewhere. So things are grim. And I show you beautiful things and I show you a lot of non-beautiful things and this is not beautiful. Like how, how did that much water come out? And it's water, I tasted it, it's not cooling. I checked the, the fluids and everything, it's not overheating. I've been, I'm sitting here letting it run for a while because I'm gonna just drive it. I called every single mechanic around me in this area and they're like, I booked up for the month. They're just like laughing at me. So I have to drive through the mountains with no cell service at all for hours. I just need to get this Jeep somewhere into a city where I can assess what to do because I can't be out here in the middle of nowhere. But we can't cry in these situations. We have to just keep going. Shit. I mean, she's driving like a champ so far. I'm afraid to like stop. I mean, if she makes it, I have to give her props. She's still running. Turning the heat on full blast seems to be working. I have an hour and a half left. I think it'll be okay. So this is the stretch that's most challenging, but fortunately it's not hot. It's raining right now. I have to drive slow, but this is the portion for like an hour or so where there's no service at all. This day, this day, I just got pulled over. Yuki! Speeding! I was going apparently 63 and a 55. I was going to flow of traffic. Like the problem with Yuki is that I could never get her to go fast enough and I get pulled over for speeding. Like I couldn't find my registration, I couldn't find my insurance card, and I swear that I had everything. He's like, you know what? We're not like for Pennsylvania, for some reason the system isn't reading it. I should pay attention to my speed right now. Like of all days to get pulled over, especially after my license just expired as well. I'm like, I've only been pulled over once in my life. I didn't get a ticket. So he's like, you know what, since we can't run any of this, you know, just don't speed. It's okay, just, you know, be safe. I'm very grateful. I'm so grateful Yuki made it to Carson City. We're pretty much here. Uh, I didn't get a ticket. Could have. She could have. The gasket could have actually been blown. I don't. I still don't know what's wrong with her, but life is good. It's just weird. It's just so strange. I'm just here in the city. I don't know if I should go into a mechanic because I can't afford that now that the IRS took a big, bunch of money out of my bank account today. It's, it's things that no one wants to deal with. Like car troubles, the IRS, the police, all in a, one day. Uh, by the time this is released, this will all be over. And I'm just very curious for my own self to know how this turns out. This Jeep is a mess. It really needs cleaned. It's been a second since I've organized and cleaned. I got a new towel today, but I kind of don't want to throw away my purple one because I like that one too. I'm going to clean out my Jeep. Uh, this is the first time that I got a paid for campsite. I'm in Carson City now. Um, well, outside of Carson City by the lake. And the reason for this is because I want to stay close to a city just in case something goes wrong again with Yuki. And, um, 
but I still want to be in nature. So I got this campground for about $25 a night. This was the last camp spot. It's first come, first served. So I'm really glad that I found one. Also, the hotels around here on the weekend are very expensive. So $25 is like a fourth of what a hotel would cost. It's so messy. Everything's kind of just falling apart and just, you know, it's she's seen better days, but haven't we all? When I was with my friend, there was washing machine, so I washed everything. I washed my sheets, my blankets, and I'm just, I'm shocked that she's still running. <laughs> like, I was sure that it was over with. I know it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, but it was a lot of water, and I've never seen that much leaking outside of a car before ever. I drove it here to this campground, and she's fine. She's actually running even better than before, which is, weird i don't know if she's like gonna go out all of a sudden because that's what things do and my plans are kind of like changed now too my original plans were to go to idaho and after that whole trek and almost being stranded like that i don't know if that's a good idea so i'm like should i just sell her here now i just i don't know what to do so i'm kind of just sat here in carson city i don't know if i'll go to reno i don't know what i'm doing i'm just gonna clean Oi. Okay, well, it doesn't look that much cleaner, but it's more organized at least. It is small space, you can only do so much. My uh, cutlery and stuff needs cleaned. I think there's like some mold at the bottom of this thing. I'm not proud of it, but it happens. I don't know if I should just throw this away. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. It's all moldy. <laughs> I've stayed in so many shitty hotels the past week that I'm just grateful to be in my car. Like, it's better to be in my car God damn it, than these hotels I've been in. Like, I've been in Carson and Reno for the past week. And I thought, hey, I'll just, like, take a break, you know, relax a little bit, because, like, I've been, it's been a lot of stuff, as you saw. Like, it's been a bit stressful. But it didn't really relax me at all. To be honest, I couldn't even sleep. But you get what you pay for. This hotel especially. Yeah, I just kind of stopped and saw Reno and Carson City for a bit in Nevada and I did not even intend on doing that. It just kind of happened. It's the most random spot to like stop. Like it's all just like gambling and it was interesting, but it's time to move on. The only way that I can get out is to drive a lot. No matter which way I would decide to go, I have to drive a lot. And that's what's concerning me the most. And the reason I did stay here for a long time is because I was kind of scared. I'm like, I should stay around a city in case I need a mechanic. The problem that I had before didn't seem to be a, a problem. I don't know what that was. I just, I really just don't know what that was. I've decided to just risk it and keep going. I'm going to try and make it to Colorado, but first I have to, I want to go to Idaho. So the next destination is Idaho. Cause I hear it's really beautiful there. And so many people have told me it's beautiful. Like, Nevada is like this place, you just can't escape it. So I'm going to drive for about seven hours to get out and that's a lot that's a long time for me it's probably not for other people but in my jeep and how i am as a person it's a lot and then from there i'm going to try to figure out how i'm going to where i'm what i'm going to do i need a plan i need a longer term plan than just roaming about also at the last hotel there was a huge storm and a flood it flooded the entire parking lot it was hailing it was crazy in carson city and i put my boots on and the water just soaked them like completely thoroughly and it took days for them to dry and then it smells so bad now because they didn't dry fast enough. I think they're ruined and I don't think I can save them. You know, I only have three pairs of shoes. Now I only have two. So far, so good. Um, happy to be out of Reno, but I'm just eating some cottage cheese to 
taking a little break. You know, just being chill. No hurry. There's like locusts or whatever those things are. Those huge, whatever they are, everywhere here. They're just like crushed all over this gas station. Right, so back to this again, this tires thing. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh God, I forgot how this one. I don't really like to go to rest stops anymore. But it's free and there are not a lot of dispersed camping sites along this route, so. Sneak on in here. I feel so anxious and just like rushed whenever I sleep at rest stops now. I'm no longer a rest stop girl. I'm a dispersed camping girl. Could be worse. This is quite nice. There is some sort of huge cricket infestation in the area that I'm in right now. When I was driving, like I showed you guys the little ones at the gas station, but when I was driving, there was thousands, I'm not kidding, like just everywhere. There was splatter on the road. They were just like everywhere. It's been crazy in Nevada, who would have thought? I'm at a point now of traveling where it's like, if it's too difficult, I'm not doing it. <laughs> like there'll be like these van lifers and stuff, these people that travel that just do everything so like perfect and this and that and it's aesthetic and it's cool and but once you're out on the road long enough it's like you just don't give a shit about anything anymore if it's not convenient it's not for you like living out on the road for a while really helps you to understand like what is most important in your conversion and i did a pretty good job with this one. good morning it was actually a very nice rest stop to stay at i woke up a lot just because i haven't been used to sleeping in rest stops and there's a lot of like traffic noise but it's pretty chill and it's a gorgeous day. Oh, it's so hot in here. I have to run my um, heat whenever I'm in traffic like this or sitting like this because the Jeep likes to overheat. But when I have the heat fan on, it's totally fine. So it's really hot and these RVs are just why do people take huge RVs into parks like this? So I'm here near the Shoshone Falls in Idaho now. We're in Idaho, Twin Falls area. Um, when I first drove into it, I didn't think much of it. I'm like, this kind of looks like Pennsylvania, but this doesn't. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here. I mean, I need to go find my camping spot now, but I wanted to look at these waterfalls before that. If you're wanting to come here, it is $5 to get in. And I don't think you can get too close to the waterfall, which is unfortunate because I want to. I'm hoping to find more things that are less people. I made it to my campsite. I took a dip in the lake. Really nice and natural. Feels really good. Highly recommend it. And yeah, it feels great out here. I drove so much today trying to find a camping spot. Well, I drove, I just got here late. You can't get a camping spot late, especially on the weekend. It doesn't work. The free ones, anyways, you can't find them. I parked here. I don't know if you're allowed to or not, but I don't care. Um, it's getting, it's gonna get dark soon, so that's where I'm sleeping tonight. I get in trouble for it, whatever. Gorgeous views. Idaho is so, so beautiful. I cannot even believe it. I was trying to decide if I should just leave Idaho and go to Colorado, but um, decided to stay and go more north, and I'm glad I did because it looks so much more beautiful up here. I'm gonna end this video now. I don't even remember what it's about, <laughs> but everything's gonna be okay for you. Everything's gonna be okay for me. Stick to Trust Drill. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>